Hi guys, um, welcome to mindmanmusic.com video tutorial number one, side chaining uh, kick and bass with Logic Audio Platinum 5.5. I've started off with a, uh, an empty template. I've added obviously a couple of sequences and I've sorted out the EQ on the, um, on the channels I'm going to use. But basically to side chain in Logic, what you have to do is get the, um, the signal of your source track, which in this case is my kick. So this is the, um, the sound I will be using as the trigger for the um, compressor. Okay, so got your kick in there, and the track next to it. I'm going to use a VB1 bass but you can use whatever you want. You can also do it on snares and um, you can even group up a whole group of channels and send that group to the side chain. That's where you can emphasize um, different instruments in your song and vocals, etc., etc. Originally, side chain is, in, is used in uh, radio. That's how they automatically adjust the level of the music when they start talking. Um, and that is called ducking. Um, that you can do with the side chain. You can also do side chaining, um, reverse side chaining, which I don't even know what it's called, but that can emphasize the sound, the sound that is on the uh, side chain channel um, when your source signal hits it. Okay, so we've got the bass in there as well. Now the essential thing to do is send the audio signal to an, a bus the bus tra channel, yeah. As you can see, I've got a very simplified um, environment here just for this tutorial. And so you grab the bus, you put its volume up to zero, you have to send to zero, and that automatically comes in through here. Now, another important adjustment is to silence the output of the bus, because if you don't, you will double up the volume of the kick because it's coming out of the channel. Um, through the output one and two, and also through the bus. So I've taken it off here. You just select no output, and you're ready to go. Okay, so let's just play that. And we've got a simple kick and bass here, as you can see. Um, so what we need to do now is obviously set up the compressor that is going to be side chained into the kick. Yeah, so you get dynamic compressor there. Add that in. Notice the setting. Unfortunately, they've put it on the right. It should really be on the left, so it, it like sort of follows the, the the chain, the audio chain. But no, they put it on the right. That's okay. Let's grab that and select what input um, you're going to use for the um, for the side chain. So the audio signal will come from bus one into here, okay, even though it's not sent out to the output. Okay, so the setting is a bit hardcore. Let's try something. Here, a slap bass kind of thing I've got there. Now all we have to do is press play and you'll see the side chain and hear it in effect. Okay. Now what this does is basically brings your kick out. Yeah, I've got this with too much gain, but we can get the gain off here. Yeah basically allows your kick through yeah, and you're just going to adjust the level of compression here to give you sort of pumping effect if you want okay and that's basically it you don't really need to do much yeah so starting from the top again you send the output of your source signal to the bus, put its volume up to zero. Yeah. Comes in through the bus, goes back out into the compressor side chain input. There are other VST effects, built in logic effects and third party VSTs that support the side chain option. Just look at it, look for it and if you want to use it, go ahead. Um once you've done that, adjust the settings to your liking. Okay, probably just a little bit too much bass on this kick. 
Yeah. A little bit more high end. And you can see nice and solid, lots of space in the music to add more instruments whenever you want. Okay. I hope you've understood this uh, tutorial. I hope everything's correct. If not, just uh, give me a buzz on my email. That's brains at mindmanmusic.com, as in brains up in your head. Um, you guys just take it easy. Many happy productions. And wait for uh, the video tutorial number two. And obviously visit www.mindmanmusic.com for the latest news on anything that is uh, psychedelic. Okay, take it easy, guys.